Welcome to our very first episode where we talk about what's hot this week. We found out that Malaysia is ranked 27 for 2022's travel destinations by a well-known US um, site called Travel Lemmings, where they had several, it's about 15 people researching which are the best destinations to go to across 50 countries, and Malaysia made it to 27 countries. We're excited and we're pretty proud of this achievement as not that many people know about Malaysia. People would just talk about Bali, Indonesia, or even Thailand, um, Vietnam, but they really went across Malaysia in this case. But hey, we have great food, great people, amazing destinations, uh, which is quite exciting for the uh, international tourists who might be thinking to come to Malaysia. If you've watched our pilot episode, we have talked about the borders reopening in March. However, apparently that was just a speculation. That is the kind of a deadline that the government is giving um, to reopen the borders. So right now, a lot of, you can see the tourism industry is quite anxious at whether the borders will reopen or not. However, in other news, we found out that the health ministry is finalizing SOPs to reopen the international borders. So I think that means that, hey, things are sort of going well despite the Omicron variants. But with a lot of SOPs of care going into the um, quarantines that maybe um, international tourists will have to do and all this, uh, it will help uh, reduce the numbers of uh, say COVID positive tourists coming in. In the meantime, aside from international tourists that we're thinking of, people from like the UK or the US and, and whatnot, we have our neighboring countries um, participating in the Vaccinated Travel Bubble, or the VTL. And uh, have, surprisingly enough, uh, our VTL because a project for Singapore went quite well. For example, all tickets for quarantine-free travel bus by AirAsia has been sold out until March. Now, for those who don't know, in Malaysia, you can say early February, it is Chinese New Year. And I know we're nearing the end of February now, but hey, just, you know, this makes sense later. We've got Chinese New Year, we've got Singapore with the majority Chinese population, and Malaysia, we also have our own Chinese population. And unfortunately, because of the pandemic, people are stuck in each of these countries. So we've got a lot of Malaysian workers stuck in Singapore and vice versa. So this quarantine-free travel by bus and also by air is pretty much a, you could say, a miracle for the people that they can finally celebrate with their families. So I think that's one of the um, contributors as to why the tickets are being sold out quite fast um, at a very, very fast rate. Aside from that, as again, I said there are VTL flights, which has been sold out for weeks and it was supposedly fully booked before the Chinese New Year holiday. So even from January, um, that the tickets are fully booked all through to mid-March. And we're continuing to see high demands for these tickets as people are excited to move around again. Maybe Singaporeans to travel to Malaysia, um, Malaysian families traveling to Singapore, to Universal Studios, and you know, the tourism industry is certainly moving. Not exactly booming, but it is moving. So we're quite excited for our tourism operators to finally be back in action. Aside from Singapore, we are also currently in talks with Brunei, our neighboring country um, right next to Sarawak. Sarawak's tourism industry fully relies, not fully relies, but major majority of their tourists are from Brunei. So they're kind of excited to accept them back. But currently, our Prime Minister is in talks with their president, so much so that we're currently reading more about these proposals, potential proposals happening between Brunei and Malaysia. BTL, and then even the Sultan of Brunei has recognized Malaysia's My Sejahtera application and Brunei's Blue Health uh, as a sort of like a vaccine passport between both of these countries. Unlike the fiasco that happened in the Philippines not too long ago, where um, the Philippines did recognize our application, but I heard all that is sorted now, so we're all good. Speaking of my gesture, um, there's a new update rolling out um, very soon. My phone hasn't gotten it yet, maybe you can check yours. That you will have to snap a photo of your COVID test result in order to submit proof 
that you have done the result, that the result is either positive or negative. If you're a close contact especially, you will be able to submit this photo onto the app. You will have to answer a few items such as where did you take it, um, what is the result of the test, and all this. So we, have, we don't exactly have the full detail for it yet. So we might see what the update is all about very very soon. Maybe we'll update you next week. Thank you so much. Everyone have a great weekend.